we saw how we could find the length of a line which was neither parallel to the x-axis nor parallel to the y-axis. But the procedure to find the length was a bit lengthy. To avoid repeating the same procedure again, we can generalize the formula to find the length of such a line. Let one of the endpoints be a, x1, y1 and b, x2, y2. To get the length of AB, we need to form a triangle in which AB is the hypotenuse. So we drop a perpendicular to the x-axis and then draw another perpendicular to BC. So the coordinates of point D would be x2, y1. x2 will be here on the x-axis and y1 will be here on the y-axis. Now we find the lengths of AD and BD and then use Pythagoras theorem to find the length of AB. Since BD is parallel to the y-axis, it will equal the absolute value of y2 minus y1. And since AD is parallel to the x-axis, it will equal absolute value of x2 minus x1. Using the Pythagoras theorem in this triangle, we get AB squared equals AD squared plus BD squared. Substituting these values, the expression will equal x2 minus x1 the whole squared plus y2 minus y1 the whole squared. So length of AB will be the square root of the addition of these two. Now the formula has been generalized. All we need to know is the coordinates of the two endpoints and we can just feed it into this formula. Notice that x1 and y1 are coordinates of point A and x2 and y2 are coordinates of point B. This, by the way, is called the distance formula. Let's zoom out to understand a special case of the distance formula. If we have a line like this, which starts from the origin, then the formula gets simpler. Let the coordinates of point A be x, y. The coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. In this case, x2, y2 are x, y and x1, y1 are 0, 0. So using the distance formula, we get the length of OA as the square root of x minus 0 the whole squared plus y minus 0 the whole squared. That would equal square root of x squared plus y squared. If the line segment starts from the origin, its length will be the square root of x squared plus y squared where x and y are the coordinates of the other endpoint.